Late last year, the Star Wars universe was saddened by the passing of Carrie Fisher, the actress who played Princess Leia. Carrie died of complications after a cardiac arrest, which made her heart stop beating for 30 minutes. So what could have happened during this time? And why couldn't she recover even after receiving immediate treatment? When the blood flow is stopped, oxygen and nutrients that are essential to keep us alive are now being transported into the organs, causing a stage called ischemia. Once the blood supply returns, rather than restoration of normal functions, reoxygenation generates harmful molecules known as free radicals, leading to reperfusion injury and inducing oxidative stress. Now, imagine our body as a miniature universe, each organ as a galaxy, and each cell as a star. Oxidative stress shifts the balance of this universe to the dark side by producing massive amounts of free radicals, such as reactive oxygen species. And these species act as star killers that cause cell death. On the light side, a group of scavengers known as antioxidants, mainly from the liver, a galaxy not far away, are meant to be able to eliminate the free radicals and restore the balance. To better understand this process, I use a model to surgically block and reintroduce the blood flow in the kidney of rats. You can see the injured kidney on the bottom right with darkened tissue compared to a normal one on the left, which is light in color. Kidney ischemia reperfusion injury often happens in critically ill patients, like Carrie Fisher, and those who have received kidney transplantation. My results show that the functions of both kidney and liver are greatly impaired in the surgery group. Excessive amounts of reactive species are found in their blood and organs. And surprisingly, the level of glutathione, a major antioxidant, is significantly lowered in the liver. And the enzymes that are responsible for glutathione production are being wiped out, which means the liver is severely damaged from the battle, and the balance would never be able to shift back, eventually leading to death. Well, although it looks like the universe is taken up by the dark side, the goal of my research is to help patients see the light. My study is the first to identify and cross-think oxidative stress from the kidney to the liver. It provides a fundamental knowledge that will further facilitate us to find master regulators, just like Master Yuda, and eventually look for treatments to save the lives of patients, such as Princess Leia. Lastly, may the funding be with us. <laughs> Thank you.